Okay, one of my projects is going to have a uh, temperature sensor in it, and uh, I only need it to be accurate uh, from about zero degrees Fahrenheit to a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this is a variable varistor, a variable resistor, actually a thermistor from a uh, fax machine, and. Uh, as the temperature increases um, on the sensor, the resistance of the device decreases. And when it gets colder, uh, the, uh, the resistance increases. So right now, I've, um, what I'm doing is I'm mapping out values because these sensors vary. Um, this is the cheapest way to do it. They have the sensor modules for the Arduino, but it, it's so simple a circuit to make, there's no sense in spending ten, fifteen dollars on a uh, on a pre-made sensor, and besides, that takes the science and the fun out of it, if you ask me. So anyway, I've gotten hooked up to my multimeter, and uh, I just took it off some ice cubes to get my low end. And uh, right now I've got the uh, data being spit out to my serial monitor, so I'm keeping a little chart in notepad and I have found that it settles out the serial monitor over here seems to settle out at 687 when the uh, sensor is on the ice cube um, I tested my own body temperature several times with a uh, standard digital thermometer and it was 98.5 degrees. So then I held it, uh, held the same sensor to my temple and waited for it to level out. And that value came out to be 3.6 K ohm. And on the Arduino, uh, the sense pin, uh, the circuit is putting out a value of 438. Um, and I know what the room temperature is, it's 77 degrees. That came out to be 4.6 K ohm, or 512 on the Arduino. And ambient room temperature, say about 70, 72 degrees, uh, seems to be 4.7 K. Uh, so, so how am I getting this data? <clears throat> Basically, very simple. I, uh, I'm using a 4.7 K ohm half watt resistor, which is uh, along with another project here, but it's this resistor right here. One side of the resistor goes to 5 volt on the Arduino. Then, I'm making a voltage divider. The second resistor is my uh, sensor, my varistor. It gets connected to this side of the resistor to ground and I'm taking my reading in between the two off this green wire so essentially I'm just making a simple voltage divider but voltage is going to drop across the variable resistor with temperature so that's why I'm mapping out values I'm getting a ambient level in resistance and value a low end, which I did with the ice cube, and a predictable high end, uh, which is my own body temperature. And for a room thermometer, I think that is going to suffice. This uh, should be accurate within half a degree to one degree. So uh, once I get the code working and spitting it out on a display, I will resume. All right, I didn't expect this to take hours. I tell you what, I've got a, uh, I've been in engineering pretty much all my life, but I've got a newfound respect. Um, something as simple as a temperature sensor, when you don't know, when you're not, when you're not dealing with absolute values like a, uh, like a pre-made digital. Uh, thermometer or temperature sensor and you're just dealing with a uh, a varistor and you have to do all the calculations yourself 
Um, yeah, it can be pretty tough. You got to do a lot of experimenting. I've got this down accurate within about uh, a decimal point. Um, it's accurate down to freezing up to a hundred uh, degrees. It'd probably go higher than that. I'd say it's probably accurate to 120, 130. But this is made to measure. Uh, this is in the end. This is intended to measure room temperature. So that's well within limits, tolerable limits. Um, I'll put the code up in the simple circuit later. I changed my resistor to a 10K. I'm getting better resolution. Uh, so there's the code, and I got some. I found some example code um, from a student online. Um, so I want to give him credit. I can't remember the fellow's name, but uh, anyway, I'm spitting out. Celsius and Fahrenheit. This is ambient room temperature right now. Uh, I like it pretty warm in here. So it's uh, uh, it's saying it's almost 26 degrees Celsius, 78 Fahrenheit in here, and that's what my thermostat is set at. Uh, so let's check our conversions over here. Um, camera won't reach that far but I'm sure you can see this um, this is a online converter so I'm gonna convert let's see 25.8 degrees Celsius equates to 78 right here 78.44 78.03 hot yeah so I'm pretty happy with that um, I could put this on my temple and measure my body temperature um, I'll probably mount this to something metal that'll transfer heat and cold uh, maybe a small heat sink it's already got a screw hole um, that's the way it came out of the uh, fax machine. But anyway, I'll set this against a uh, cold drink and we'll watch the temperature go from room temperature to whatever the can is. Okay, sensor's on there and we should start dropping. I have it polling every one second, which is not necessary. I'll probably have it do it every maybe every minute, every 30 seconds in the end. Well, we're down to 24 degrees. Uh, notice it does take this sensor a little while to adjust, but for a room temperature sensor, uh, that's just fine. Uh, we're not trying to take uh, uh, vitals here. So, speed is not really an issue. Getting down to 21 degrees. Now, I have had this can out of the fridge for a little while. It's still pretty chilly. Uh, 20 and a half. So, it's going down. My beverage is a relatively cool 67 and a half degrees right now. So I'm pretty happy with those results. Um, the circuit is very, very simple, and uh, I'll put a link to that in Circuit Lab. And uh, there's a new site, there's a new uh, section on our website. Um, if you go to planetxresearch.com or .org, you'll find the Arduino logo at the top. And all my projects are here with us. Uh, uh, here's some of the beginner projects. The description, the code in PDF format, libraries, links to the libraries if any are needed outside of the Arduino development kit. 
and uh, circuit diagrams if a circuit is needed. And I've got some for beginners, intermediate, and advanced, which even I myself am not that far yet, but it's there and hopefully I'll be there pretty soon. So uh, I did this stuff in college years ago and it's slowly coming back to me, so trial and error. Anyway, that's how to build a uh, do-it-yourself digital Arduino temperature sensor with a very cheap varistor. So save yourself $15 instead of buying one of these fancy modules. And you'll have more fun and uh, I think you'll be pleased when you get results.